Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News at 6. Nine hours and counting. Investigators all day going in and out of offices at the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. A search for evidence in connection with alleged sexual abuse by a Conroe priest. This comes one day after my exclusive interview with Cardinal Daniel DiNardo. Tonight at 6 o'clock, more of my conversation with the Cardinal about the clergy sex abuse scandal rocking the Catholic Church. But we begin with that search warrant executed by 60 law enforcement officers first thing this morning. Investigators are telling Channel 2 tonight that this could go on for another day. Reporter Phil Archer live at the Archdiocese downtown where he has seen investigators carry out boxes and at least one computer. Phil? And it appears the investigators here who include Texas Rangers in the Department of Justice are going to be working into the night. They've been here since 9.30 a.m. and at this point show no sign of wrapping up. About 60 state, local, and federal investigators went in with a search warrant this morning. They were led by Montgomery County DA Brett Ligon. I am a Catholic myself, and so this is not a search warrant against the Catholic Church. What this is is a search warrant to review uh, files that belong to a defendant. Father Manuel La Rosa Lopez was charged in September with fondling two children between 1998 and 2000 while pastor at Conroe's Sacred Heart Catholic Church. A third alleged victim has also come forward. In a statement issued today, the diocese said it's cooperating with the investigation and that the information police are after was already being compiled. Over the weekend, Cardinal Daniel DiNardo announced an audit team would be using church records to compile the names of any Texas priest credibly accused of sexual misconduct going back to 1950. It's possible that may have influenced the timing of the search today. Reporting that there was a group that perhaps a lot of these documents that we wanted were going to be sent out to outside areas, and it's just easier for me to go to one place. Father La Rosa Lopez's defense attorney says the search was unnecessary. And there's no need for a search warrant. What they're doing is coming in with police officers into a church, and they're seizing documents from a church. Across the street from the Chancery, worshipers attending noon mass today saw the police activity. Several told us they have no problem with the search. I think if they have a search warrant, that is, I think it's just a just way of doing it. it, it we ought to be transparent for anything we do. Father La Rosa Lopez has been removed from the ministry while he's awaiting trial. He's currently free on bond, and he denies doing anything illegal. Reporting live downtown, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Phil.